using a solver option file. Today we will show two ways on how to create and use a solver option file. We will first solve the model library example dice with the solver cplex and then we will solve the same model with the solver Gurobi. In the second solve we will instruct Gurobi to take advantage of the already found solution. To do this we can use a solver option file. Let's first retrieve example dice from the GAMS model library. We search for dice and double click on model non-transitive dice design. Then we move down to the solve statement and remove the post processing. Because we first want to solve the mixed integer model with cplex, I state option mid equal to cplex. After the solve statement, I state that I want to use Groby. Before we create a solver option file, I want to mention that some common options like time limit can be specified with a GAMS option. The GAMS options are passed on to the solver. We can open the solver manual to find the GAMS options from basic solver usage GAMS options. However, let us now create a solver option file. We go to menu utilities option editor, choose file, create option file, Groby. In the drop down menu, you can see the option categories. To specify that we want to use a starting point is under category Other Options. We scroll down and click on MIP Start and set the value to 1 and then click on button Set. M marks that the option has been modified. An option description can be seen in the upper right corner of the window. By pressing keyboard key F2 we can get even more information about the option. The solver options needs to be saved in a file. We choose File, Save Option File and click Save. Now a solver option file has been created. We can open the just created option file by choosing File Open. When we start to type Groby, the system suggests the file groby.opt. We see that the MIP start option value has been set to 1. There is usually more information about an option in the corresponding solver manual. Therefore, I can open the Groby manual to look for Groby options. We search for MIP start to find the option description. We see that values 0 and 1 are possible and that 0 is the default value. This means that starting values are not used by default. Next, we go back to the model and instruct GAMS to use a solver option file. For this we use a model attribute. We note that the model name for this model is xdice. We write xdice.opfile equal to 1 to use a solver option file. We copy the solve statement and run the model. We can verify from the log file that Groby used the options that we set. We see that the content of groby.opt is read by groby. Furthermore, we can observe that the text loaded MIP start with objective 21 and that the first incumbent solution has the objective value 21. Now we show an alternative way to create a solver option file. The previous approach required that the option file has been created before we run the GAMS model. Next we will create an option file when we run the model. The benefit is that we specify the GAMS model and the used solver options in a single file. This is useful for example if you send the model to someone else. To do this we use a compile time statement on echo and direct the output to file groby.opt. We then write the option name MIP start and value 1. I end the file writing with off echo. Now the option file is created on the fly when we run the model. Note that you can use a different option file for each solve statement. We can read more about this in the solver manual.